In this video, I will show you how to assign the material model to the part in your mesh file. You may, of course, have many parts and many material models, but the mechanism I will show here is perfectly replicable and you should be able to use it for bigger models too. We begin by typing part preceded by an asterisk. You will see that the manual window has now brought up the entry for this command. All your available inputs are shown here, as well as a short description. There are two key inputs in this command. The rest are optional and concern damage, smoothening and time control. We will return to these concepts in later videos. For now, you will need to locate the IDs of your parts and materials. In your mesh file, each part should be identified with a part ID. This should appear in the tree to the left. Here, the part ID is 13. Also, notice that this part's icon has a red mark on it. That means that this part has not yet been properly assigned a material. The material ID comes from the mat library command or from a custom material command if that is used instead. Here, the material ID is 1. Now that we have noted these IDs, we proceed by assigning a material to each part. This is done by first typing the part ID followed by the material ID, separated by a comma. If you have several parts that should be assigned the same material, you may bracket that part ID and list many within the brackets. The list can contain each ID or a range of IDs by using two dashes between the endpoints. But in this model, I only have one part, 13. If I now press save, the red mark I mentioned earlier should have disappeared. In addition, we can now expand the materials tree and we can see that the material is listed. We now have a model with assigned material properties and we can begin to define boundary conditions and loads. In the next video, we will apply boundary conditions so that the beam is clamped in one end.